So with the popularity of cloud and big data in the 2010s, demand for data distribution continued just to skyrocket. And because of the scalability and the coupling issues that come with transactional consistency, many developers began to look for something else. And what they found were integration patterns that utilizes eventual consistency instead. So eventual consistency ensures that a system will become consistent over time, given that no new updates are being made. And while users may see outdated data temporarily, the system guarantees that all system will eventually converge to the same value. And this allows system to provide much higher scalability and lose recoupling, even at the cost of immediate consistency. So we can compare transactional and eventual consistency with a few criteria. So when it comes to transactional consistency, all systems are either synchronized at, all, uh, at once or just not at all. Eventual consistency, on the other hand, promises that system will be synchronized eventually. When it comes to coupling, transactionally consistent systems tend to be more tightly coupled because it's centralized. And it also, it's also like that this is the case because it also requires all the system to immediately reflect the changes, making them highly interdependent. So this dependency means tighter coupling um, because they rely heavily on each other. On the flip side, eventual consistency generally leads to systems that are more loosely coupled. And this is because systems are allowed to update at their own pace. And this approach also fosters more independence between the system, uh, resulting in looser coupling as they don't need to coordinate instantly. And so this makes eventual consistency a much more easier approach to scale. So uh, to understand the difference between trans transactional and eventual consistency, we can also compare similar communication patterns. So for example, face-to-face -face communications like in a meeting can be compared to a transactional consistency where instant responses is required by multiple parties. Text messaging, on the other hand, is like eventual consistency because it doesn't need immediate response from everybody and it's more hassle-free. Another way to describe transactional consistency is that it's synchronous or two-way communication, whereas eventual consistency is more like asynchronous and a one-way pattern. And finally, when it comes to software development, transactional consistency uses request response patterns more often where eventual consistency uses pops up more. 